Again, my name is Wes Sampson with Metalogic Software. I'm a level two engineer here, um, specifically working a lot more with Content Matrix and our other products. Uh, today's Metalogic's 30 minute quick take meeting is going to be about Content Matrix licensing. Our goal today is to review the Content Matrix licensing processes and advise of differences between the Content Matrix full edition, the full suite edition, and the express licensing and problems that may arise with your license. Um, first, we're going to uh, talk about the difference between the two products and the licensing between the two products. Secondly, we're going to talk about the Content Matrix organizer slash license check. Uh, this is with only the full suite. We're going to talk about the difference between the activations of the both products. And then we're going to talk about the licensing difference in between what you will see in your content matrix console compared to what you may see in your organizer or your license check. And then we're going to talk about a com some common issues. Common issues that, that you may see with the content matrix organizer slash license check advising you that you may be over your data. Uh, issues from, uh, from changing licensing. Uh, these changing the license could be from trial license to non-trial licenses. Removing all license information for the content matrix uh, console, which allows you to add a brand new license and easily get through some problems that I can show you in a minute. And lastly, a URL, which I will bring up at the end of the 15 minutes and uh, advising specifically what that is. That's basically the end of the slideshow. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead into one of my VMs here. Actually, I'll bring up the Content Matrix console on my desktop. As you can see, this is a Content Matrix console that you everybody would be used to. And if you can see, you can actually, uh, there's different selections here. You're probably already familiar on how to connect. Um, but we're, what we're going to be talking about today is licensing. And you can go to licensing by going to help or about and update license information um, if you need to change licenses. But we're going to, throw, firstly, we're going to talk about the differences between the Content Matrix Console Full Suite Edition and the Content Matrix Console Express. The licensing is, slight, is quite a bit different between the two. Uh, Content Matrix Express, I'll explain that one first because that's probably the easiest one and the more um, not the most popular product we have compared to the Content Matrix Suite, but do a lot of our customers do prefer it. Uh, it's basically you purchase a license per how much you would like to migrate. So, for example, if you purchase a, a license for 100 gigabytes, you can migrate 100 gigabytes. Pretty straightforward. The Content Matrix Full Suite Edition is a bit different. We actually well, sales actually, will sell you a license based on the size of your target farms. So if you purchase a license for 700 gigabytes, you can migrate as much as you like, an infinite amount, as long as your target farms are below 700 gigabytes. And that's where the organizer and license check would come in. The organizer and license check, I'll bring up the screenshot here from here. The organizer and license check, those are what actually calculate your farm. So I'm going to bring up the SharePoint edition. It's 2010 SharePoint. As you can see, they have a solution file here, the metalogics.fluent.wsp. That actually is the content organizer. From there, what when that's installed, not only do you get the functionality of the organizer, which allows you to migrate software, uh, migrate sites, subsites, add metadata within your same farm, it actually calculates your license. And there is a difference between how you would actually activate that compared to if you activated the Content Matrix console. Then there's also the license check, which I have on another VM here. Oh, that's the same one. As you can see, this one doesn't say Metalogics Fluent. It says Metalogics License Check.wsp. The licensing and the way you set up the licensing is pretty well identical for both products. Um, 
with the Content Matrix Express Edition, you do not have these uh, Fluent Metalogics Fluent dot licensing check license check dot WSB sort of Metalogics Fluent Organizer, and it's not included inside the actual uh, Express packaging. All you would see is your Metalogics web extensions. As you can see, uh, as this is one of our test boxes that we actually have quite a few different versions on here, and your environment may be similar but uh, most people usually have one or two, uh, depending on how many times they've upgraded our, our software. Um, with the Express Edition, we'll, again, you will not see the license check, but you will, the Metalogix web extensions will be there to connect to it remotely. Um, now, what the license checks do, and I'm going to go through the process right now, is there's, two, uh, there's basically one way to update the license checker. Uh, it's basically, I'll do it in... Uh, 2010 first. Just because I'm using a Windows 2000 R2 box and it has a classic start, up, uh, start uh, button. You can actually go into the license here, just like all programs. Metalogix Web Extensions, or Metalogix I mean, Content Organizer, and you'll see that there's a license check activation. It's pretty straightforward. It's going to come up. And you put in the license uh, information. Your, informa your login information it needs to be a local administrator of all firms and your password. And you can either activate online or offline. This time I'm going to activate online. Oh, valid name or password. And what it's doing in this process is reaching out to our servers uh, to verify the license, calculate the actual amount of uh, the amount of data that you're actually that is on this farm to add to the license. Again, you wouldn't see this with Express. Express is basically the amount of data you migrate. Um, so we'll let this go through. Activation complete. Now you will see this when you're actually installing the console. When you're installing the WSPs, you will actually see this. Uh, when you're actually installing the license check or the organizer, same basic, basic licensing tool will pop up. You can activate it. Uh, it usually never fails unless there's issues with local administration. Um, other than maybe you need to contact, activate offline if you do not have access to uh, uh, our licensing server, which I'll bring up in a moment. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. So what is the difference between the Content Matrix console and the organizer license? Well, the Content Matrix console, as you know, is you can install this in as many locations you can. With Express version, though, you may only be able to allow you to install it on maybe three or four machines. Uh, usually with the full version of Content Matrix, uh, full suite edition, you can install it in multiple places. Um, it uses the exact same key, and therefore, basically when it reaches our server, we, we see that you're using a, ser a specific server. It tells you you're using one server, five servers, etc. Um, so you don't go over your license, and that's with the Express version. With the the actual full suite version, we do record that also, but you can install it usually, depending on the uh, what you purchase from our sales representative, you can usually install it in many places at once. Uh, it's completely different than the actual organizers. The organizer, you only have to install on your actual target web front ends. Um, the Content Matrix console, you can install on multiple laptops, uh, workstations, web front ends. It's really where you decide to do it and what is best for you and your company in your migration strategy. Um, 
one common issue you'll see with uh, uh, with the content matrix organizer licensing is sometimes it'll tell you you're above the allocated data. And I don't have a screenshot for this, but basically where it would be is inside your inside your environment. If you went to application management. We'll just let this go for a bit. And you can see that we have the content matrix. Wow. Looks like we don't have it on this, so let me check the other one. And you can see the content matrix organizers right here. With license check, the license check does check the licensing, and there is an actual um, uh, timer job to check it, just like content matrix organizer. But you would see in your timer jobs that you'd actually have an error that you're over licensing. Uh, with the license management, you'd actually could go in and see how much licensing is being used and it's valid. And if you're over the limit, there'd be a, basically an er error right here. Um, Sometimes if you install it on, uh, what can happen is if you install the organizer or the license check on multiple different farms, and you do not need another farm for your, uh, as a target anymore, it'll still be in there. And that's what you'd want to get in contact with us for us to remove that specific uh, target environment or former target environment to bring down the licensing. Uh, sometimes, basically, uh, you purchase just enough licensing to to match your environment, you're only a few gigabytes more and you'll see a warning in there. And that's what you'd want to talk to our sales department. So that's enough, enough about talking about the organizer. If you have any questions, please place them in the questionnaire portion of it and I can answer them later. But let's take a look at the content matrix console and issues arising from uh, installing this. So what I'm going to do is basically, uh, do a search because it's already installed. I believe this is the SharePoint edition. Yeah. And it's asking us for a key. So I'm going to retrieve the key. Again, if you need to do an online activation or offline activation, uh, it's a bit different. Just dismiss this. Uh, in this case, we're going to do an online activation. It says failed to activate license. You do not have internet connectivity. Please use offline activation. Now, you may see this sometimes when you're going from trial licenses, or sometimes when you're switching licenses, there could be some corruption. Um, sometimes you actually do not have an online version. I'm looking at the show details portion. And it says I'm not able to restore a uses.lic file because the backup does not exist. Now, most of the time when people see this, you cannot do an online activation. It's usually because you need to do an offline activation. So if we were to do an offline activation and hit next, we're getting another error. Failed to generate offline activation data on specified error. We take a look. Basically getting the same error, unable to restore the license.fie file because a backup does not exist. So how do we get around this issue? Well, it's a little easier than everybody may think. So I'll go ahead and close this product. product and I'll open up Windows Explorer. Now if you go to your C drive or wherever, well it is a C drive, there is program files and program files.x86. There's also a hidden folder called program files, C colon program files, program data. And inside there, there will be a Metalogix folder. And you will see that it was looking for a uses.bak file. It's no longer there. 
that you also see product new.bak and product new license.bak. So what we usually recommend to resolve this is to actually move these files. You could delete them, but you may want to just move them for now. So I'm just going to cu cut them out. I'm just going to throw them on the desktop here for a moment. So it's the product new .bak or product new .lice and the usage.lice, and sometimes there's a usage.bak file. You remove these, and I'll just minimize this. Do search for content matrix organizer. It really doesn't matter which one you're on. It just happens to be that I have the SharePoint edition. I'm just going to open back up. Now, one thing I will tell you is that when, when the reason this takes a while to load is actually trying to activate where servers. So sometimes you can notice it'll take quite a while to, to, to start up. So let's put in this key I have here. We'll do another online activation. Now that I've removed these files, those files are no longer inside the middle of C colon program files. I'm sorry, C colon program data slash metal objects. Hit next. And the license is successful. As you can see, this one's going to expire in a few days. Um, so that's one trick to get around uh, licensing issues when you have already tried online and offline activations and they have not worked. So now that's not complete, it, it will should load up. So, so far we've been through changing the license, as we just did, errors removing the license information for content matrix, but it's this URL that some people, you notice that, why can't I do an online activation? An offline activation works, even though I know my web front end or wherever I'm at actually has um, access to um, the internet. It's because you can't, it could be your proxy server, but it's basically because you cannot access this particular URL. So let me bring it up in uh, SharePoint 2013. We'll open up IE. We'll take a look. And you can see if you can do this from the system that you're actually trying to activate, you should be able to do an online activation. If you can't, then offline activation may need, may need to be done in your case. Other than that, it would be something more than likely in your environment uh, causing us not to get to the specific uh, licensing service. Uh, without this, you cannot do an online activation. Um, an offline activation may be your only option. Um, that being said, let's Take a look at any questions that you may have. If anybody has some questions, that'd be great. Okay, do not see any questions inside um, inside the questionnaire box. So um, this would be the end of the meeting. Um, have a good day, and uh, thank you for watching our 30-minute quick takes. Uh, it will be online in our knowledge base uh, as soon as it gets uploaded. Uh, have a good day.